guys, today we're going to be talking about dry conditioner and using it on your wigs. All right, so I wanted to come on here today and I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I feel like I talk about all the time. I seriously need to buy stock in this product or be on someone's board for one of these companies because I literally buy so much of this and I also help sell so much of this for these guys. Um, but we're going to talk about dry conditioner. So I'm sure everybody has heard of dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is super awesome to use in between washing your hair. It kind of absorbs oils. It kind of does, it does a lot of really cool stuff. And it also is great for synthetic wigs. You can use it to kind of get rid of that weird wiggy shine that maybe a wig that you purchased might come in with. So dry shampoo is great for that. But there is also this amazing, awesome product called dry conditioner. Not as many companies make dry conditioner, but there are a few out there that I love. I think I've pretty much tried every single brand that makes a dry conditioner so far. Um, I like them all for different reasons. There is one that I actually absolutely don't like, which I didn't think could happen, but it's true. So we'll talk about that one too. But um, dry conditioner is great for synthetic wigs. So it's really great for any wigs. You can use this on human hair wigs as well. But the nice thing about it is it adds a little bit of moisture and a little bit of a natural kind of shine to the hair that doesn't look fake, but like just looks like, makes it look like it's healthy. It doesn't look dry. It also helps with keeping synthetic wigs from getting that kind of like matted, tangled look at the end. Um, it's great to use before you brush your wigs. It's great to use if you're gonna repair a wig, if you're gonna take any type of heat to it. I always use a dry conditioner first to kind of just give it a little bit of protection. And so it has all these great, great uses that have to do with synthetic wigs. So this is meant for your normal hair. You can find this in the hair care section of any store. Sephora sells some higher end brands, Target, Walmart, um, Target sells one called waterless. That's I don't, I haven't seen it in Walmart, but I have seen it in like CVS and Target. You can buy um, a lot of these dry conditioners. Most of these brands you can also buy on Amazon. Um, we can put some links down below in the description for you of some of the ones that I'm going to mention so that you know where to get them from. Uh, but they are, they're out there. There aren't, like I said, as many brands, but I think they're becoming more popular because I think more people are, you know, trying to not do the whole, you know, wash your hair every day. Cause you know, we're starting to kind of see that that's not great for your hair. So these products are popping up everywhere, but they also serve a great purpose for us with our helper hair, our, uh, synthetic wigs, which is awesome. So we always use all these crazy products that are meant for other things on our wigs. And this is another one of those products. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys what this product does. I'll show you guys a couple brands that I really love. There's two that I always, always, always recommend to anybody. Like I have a little collage saved in my phone with the two pictures right next to each other. So I can just click it and put it right into the comment because this gets asked a lot and I just like go, Oh, these are the ones that I always use. So the two that I use the most, which I have right here are the waterless um, dry conditioner. And this is the one that I buy from target. I think it's like six 99 or something like that. Um, it's not expensive. Amazon sells it online. I found it in CVS. I found it in a couple random places. Then this other one that I always recommend, this is more of a higher price point one. This is, um, I buy this from Sephora and it's Amica and it's the silken up dry conditioner. Now this bottle is bigger. This has got 5.2 ounces versus the 3.6. So you are getting more, this is $25. So you are getting more product for it, but it is, you know, it's a lot more. It's three, what, three times as much, four times as much. So it's a lot more. Um, but the smell of this one, they both smell good, but the smell of this one smells freaking amazing. So I literally probably spend that extra money just because I love the smell of this one so much. And I'm super bummed because I can't find it in stores anymore. So now I have to actually like order it on Sephora, like Sephora's website and they'll ship it to me. But I wanted to like just go into the store and buy more because this one's almost gone. But it like has this amazing like fresh hair smell, which I also think kind of adds to the illusion of it maybe it isn't a wig. So that's just, I don't know. I, I pay extra for the smell, but it also works very, very well. This one works really well too. So either one is totally fine. It really just depends on what you're looking for. If you want something that has a little bit more of like a really nice scent, I would go with this one. If you just want something that's just gonna give you the function that you need, this one is totally fine. There's also a couple other brands out there that um, I have used that I like, like this um, 
Aussie makes two different versions of a dry conditioner. So they're the only brand that has like multiple versions of them, which I kind of like. So they have the Sleek End Warrior. This one also smells really good too, and it works really well. So there's lots of brands out there, not lots, but there's a decent amount. The one that I just want to mention, the Dry Bar one, even though it's $25 and it seems like it's probably like, it's just not as much product. I don't feel like I'm getting as much for it, but maybe it smells amazing or maybe, you know, I'm going to love it. It's gonna be the best conditioner, dry conditioner I've ever used. So I'm like, I don't want to pass it up. I'm going to give it a shot. I absolutely hate it. So it is way more like a dry shampoo than a dry conditioner. It puts like this big powdery puff ball onto the hair. So you cannot use it on dark wigs at all. And it actually dried my wig out more than added conditioning to it. So I don't recommend it at all. This is it right here. It's called Detox Dry Conditioner. Weightlessly detangles, softens, and hydrates dry ends between washes. It doesn't do any of those things, to my wigs at least. So I'm just gonna show you what I do with this really quickly for a couple different scenarios. So the first scenario is, you know, you just wanna brush out your wig. Like let's just say you take the wig out of the bag. It maybe has a little bit of what we like to call static. Um, it might have, you know, just the curls might be a little bit more loose and they might have a little bit more frizz and just craziness than you want. And that's when you would wanna spray this with your dry conditioner. So we will use the Aussie Sleek and Warrior here. I don't really spray the root area of the wig because I don't really need it here. I really concentrate on like where the curls start and I really get the most product down towards the ends because that's where it's gonna be tangling more. That's where you start to see more wear on your synthetic wigs. So I just kind of lightly brush it through here and then I really kind of concentrate it on the ends a good amount. And I just usually will spray one half of the wig and then brush through it, or you can spray the whole thing. It doesn't really matter. You always wanna just make sure you start at the ends of the wig and then work your way up. And then um, this is just gonna kind of get rid of all the flyaways that you had originally like that, if you can see, and it just kind of helps smooth it back out. You can kind of take her more apart. She kind of has that like fresh out of the bag look. So this is, something that I literally probably spray eight to 10 times a day on a wig. And I still wash my wigs like every 20 to 30 wears. So it's not adding any of like this crazy buildup that I'm noticing or anything like that, which is really what I love about it. It doesn't add a ton of like product onto the hair to cause it to start to look like it needs to be washed. However, when I don't use a dry conditioner, my ends on my wigs start to become damaged a lot faster. I started using dry conditioner, it's been like a year. So like I've been using this product for a very long time. Some of these wigs have been sprayed with dry conditioner for a whole year and I've washed them and everything like that. And I notice more damage when I don't use it. And I'm not really noticing any kind of residual side effects when I do use it. So I just want to make sure you guys know that like, it's not something I'm just like, Oh, try this out. But I haven't actually tried it. Like I've been using this stuff for a long time. So the other thing that you can do with dry conditioner, if you have a damaged wig and your ends are really damaged, you need to take some heat to it to kind of repair it. And I do have a video that I do that in and I can link it here for you guys, but it is really kind of a nice little protector that I like to spray onto the hair first. It also helps you get the tangle out. So you would concentrate on the ends, which is what you're gonna be working on. I really spray a really decent amount, like a good, good amount, more than you would just to spray it down. You wanna really get a, a nice amount on there. You don't want to be like wet, but you want to get, get, get a couple sprays. And then you're going to take your uh, brush and it's really going to help you really get through the matting. Cause if it's really damaged, a lot of times you guys know, like as soon as you brush through it, the mats like come right back. This really helps keep it apart so that you can then take your heat to it and go through it with the heat really slowly. And then I do the whole head and then I just spray it down one more time with the dry conditioner and it literally makes it feel brand new. Also something else you can use if you don't have our dry conditioner at home and you need to do something right now, like dryer sheets also work to help get rid of static. They're not gonna help with like the, the softness and stuff that the dry conditioner will, but dryer sheets, little tip trick hack. So that's really it. I just wanted to come on here and give you some information on this product because I feel like I'm always recommending it, but now I can just be like, here, this is about everything you need to know about dry conditioner. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications on all the videos I do in the future. I do wig videos, I do makeup videos, and all that fun stuff. And if you guys like this video, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you on the next video.